It's April 7th, 2023. I'm at the Savannah. No, the Georgia Armstrong. No, Georgia Southern Armstrong University campus. This is a little walking path through the woods here. They've got recreational fields there. And I'm going to show you where to find an Allegheny chinkapin, otherwise known as a dwarf chestnut. This is related to the American chestnut, but much smaller. And I don't, I'm not sure if they've been affected by the chestnut blight or not. So, okay, well, yeah. So you're walking down here, you look up, you literally cannot miss this live oak tree because it looks like it's gonna fall on the sidewalk. It is, it is massive. And right here, if there's any snakes here, watch out. Make sure you bring a stick to poke the grass with. But anyways, I'm having a hard time seeing the screen because it's so bright here. But nestled here in the roots of this gigantic live oak is a little baby Allegheny chinkapin. Trying to get the screen so I can see it. Try this way. So it has serrated leaves. They're really thin leaves, but they're kind of, they're soft on the bottom, and they have these wavy serrations and the, sort of a whitish stripe down the center. But the stem is a little bit fuzzy, and it's got little things sticking out at the base of each leaf. I don't think this one is old enough to flower. Let me walk over here. Watch out, snakies, if there's any snakies here. No, I don't see any flowers on this one at all. But yeah, that's what this looks like. And they are edible just like any other chestnut. They're just, I think these ones form a single seed per fruit. I'm not sure. But it's a native plant. It's really cool looking. It's edible. So yeah. I have not had much success with cloning them. I took a few cuttings from this one and then another one. And I think I only had one cutting work. So you might be able to try that. I would recommend bringing a plant pot with you. Unless you have a car. So you can get it home faster. But yeah. That's what it looks like. Alright, bye-bye.